Hey, 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 it's G here in California. Woohoo! Welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Today's Tuesday, February 13th. Woohoo! 2018. So, today I'll be talking about eight ways to make eating, help to make healthy eating a habit. And as we know, as I've stated before, you know, eating is the most important thing in our lives, is how we eat. It's very, very important. That's going to be a huge determination of our health, right? So, if you're finding obesity, diseases other diseases di type 2 diabetes heart disease other things most of the times they could be linked to you know our um into our health to a lot of those things are linked to you know um, to weight maybe we're overweight maybe we need to lose some pounds 10 you know 10 or more pounds but if you change the way you eat if you start to eat healthier and smarter you'll be surprised how that will turn your health around, how that will help you lose weight as well. So that's why eating is so essential. We've got to learn how to eat smarter, how to eat healthier. So some sharing is, I'm going to share eight eight ways to help you eat healthier. That's the um, article I'll be sharing today with, with you guys. So let's get excited. Okay, so here we go. Sneak yourself more vegetables. You know you should eat more veggies. They're full of good, they're full of good for you fiber and vitamins, but the average person eats only about half the amount they should. So, how can you get more in? Swap out pasta for strands of zucchini that you that you shred with a julienne peeler, so you can you know replace the pasta with some um, zucchini, or pulse cauliflower in the food processor until it looks like rice, and use it in pilafs and stir fries. You'll cut out calories and add major nutrition. So they gave you some tips on how we can sneak more veggies into our um, our daily diet, right? And also you can make smoothies. One of my favorite ways to get more fruits and veggies is doing smoothies. Okay, curb snack attacks with protein. So so you get those curbing, those uh, sweet cravings, other things. It's hard to resist the junk food fill vending machine when your stomach is growling at 3 p.m. But you don't need to rely on willpower alone. The right food choices earlier in the day can set you up for success. Reach for protein. It fills you up and keeps you full, satisfied longer than carbs do. Go for meals and snacks that include things like hard-boiled eggs, Greek-style yogurt, peanut butter, and skinless chicken. So if you if you can start your day with protein, it helps you throughout the rest of the day, guys. You're going to eat much better, feel full longer. You're going to have less, um, less cravings as well. So very good tip there okay don't ditch the full fat dairy if you miss the flavor and texture of whole milk and full fat yogurt because you think skim is better for your waistline you may be in luck it's okay to indulge in a regular version of dairy products from time to time drinking creamy whole milk was even linked to a lower risk of, of obesity in one study just make sure you don't overdo it and get too many calories or grams of fat overall. Okay, so full fat dairy, nothing's wrong with that, guys. We need calcium, okay? So once in a while, nothing's wrong with getting some calcium, getting some whole some whole um full fat um dairy products. Hey, Mary, welcome. Welcome, Mary. How is everything going? So we got Mary is on. Welcome, girl. Woohoo. Okay, so I'm sharing um eight ways to uh, help us, things we can do in our lives to help us eat healthier. Because as I stated earlier, eating is it's the most important thing in life we have to eat that's something we have this that's not an option so the way we eat is the most important thing. we have to we have to be masters of eating healthier eating smarter if you start to change the way you eat you eat healthier everything in your health will, will, will turn around it's gonna get better you're gonna lose weight you're gonna feel better and you know it's, it's gonna help you fight diseases too so the way we eat is so important so learning how to eat healthier is something is so key to living a healthy lifestyle okay so next is give yourself um, proper portions portions you might think you're likely to eat more when you're really hungry or if you're digging in to one of your favorite dishes but that's not always the case one of the biggest things guiding guiding how much you eat is portion size studies show that people eat more food even if they don't like it when it's served in a large container so serve food on smaller plates to limit how much you eat love that tip which is so true your portion size is so important you can still you know enjoy the foods you love but if you cut back in your portion size it's going to help you lose weight so watch your portion size put your meals in smaller plates not bigger because if you have bigger plates you're going to eat everything on it so portion size a great tip for to eat for a healthier lifestyle and also for, for weight loss great weight loss tip there if you're trying to lose weight okay log your meals in the food 
um, journal, okay? It takes just a few minutes a day and can make a big difference. Not only do, you, do those journals make you more aware of your food choices, but they, but they can also help you stick to a healthy diet. In one study, people who kept food diaries over the, over the course of a year lost more weight than those who didn't. Try online tools, mobile apps, or plan plain old pencil and paper to feed, to find what works for you. So before I started my weight loss journey in 2014, I actually had a little, I found it the other day, I don't know what they were, I actually had a, um, a food, a journal that I was starting to create where every day I would log in, log down what I ate. And when I first started my, my weight loss, when I lost, you know, 30 pounds um, back in uh, 2014, but of course now you can make it easier. Now, now I'm on the food, the uh, My Fitness Pal app, which is you know free app makes it so much easier for me to to log my food in and it automatically calculates the calories for me. So that that's really that's been a true helper. So having a food a food journal is going to help you as well to to, to keep you disciplined, to keep you you know thinking healthier. Because you know if you eat those donuts, guess what? You, you got to go log it into My Fit My the My Fitness um. <laughs> My fitness pal app and you're gonna see all those calories so it kind of keeps you keeps you in line keeps you more disciplined so okay next tip um mary is we, we want to eat more beans a satisfying protein rich meal doesn't have to be built on an expensive slab of steak or pork at only 25 cents per cup dried beans are one of the best values at the grocery store to save time cook up a double or triple batch of beans and freeze them one and two cups portions for fast meals later on. And that's what I do. I cook my beans in a slow cooker and I do, I take half out and I freeze it for when, for when I want to eat beans again. And it's a great way to get some proteins in. The fiber is so healthy for us, okay? So don't get stuck in a rut with, with any one kind. There's a rainbow of options that can add variety to your diet. So there's so many variations of beans out there. But if you can add more beans to your diet, you, you, you'll be doing yourself a favor, okay? Next tip is you wanna have veggies for breakfast. There's no rule limiting vegetables to lunch and dinner, okay? If you want more in your diet, breakfast is a great place to start. Cut one egg out of your favorite omelet and add cooked spinach, mushrooms, onions, or red peppers. Mm -mm -mm. That's what I do with my eggs, but, but I, don't, I just integrate them all in my scrambled eggs, okay? Make a smoothie loaded with kale, apples, bananas, and yogurt. You guys know I love smoothies. Vegetables are lower in calories than most other breakfast foods and their fiber will keep you keep you feeling full longer so if you start your breakfast outright start your day outright with a great high protein eggs breakfast with some spinach okay you know um add some red peppers um onions mushrooms garlic that's how i make my scrambled eggs <laughs> you, you, you'll feel so you, i mean the rest of the day you're good okay so having a a um, healthy breakfast is a great way to get your day started okay cut back on the food blogs Ever find yourself drooling over, over photos and recipes on TV shows, magazines, and blogs? Seems harmless. But when you ulge those images of tasty dishes, you're likely to hit harder by cravings, which is true. If, you know, if you're watching <laughs> commercials, if you're hungry, you know, you know what I'm talking about, Mary, when you're hungry, and those commercials are coming on TV with the burgers and fries, you know, I, I, you know they're, they're very tempting, right? So if you're really hungry and you, you don't want to go drive through that drive through cut, you, you got to cut that TV off okay it's gonna it's gonna tempt you so pictures of foods can make your body produce more ghrelin the hormone that makes you feel hungry to stick with your healthy habits try to limit the, the foodie sh um, foodie TV shows and blogs and view them after you've eaten not before so if you if you so again you know unless you, you want to watch if, if you are you know and like I, I like to go on Pinterest I don't know about you Mary but I go on Pinterest a lot to find ideas of you know of cooking healthy 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 meals, but I tend to do that when I'm you know when I'm when I've already eaten. But again, I'm looking at healthy meals. I don't I'm, I stay I'm staying away from the other stuff that's going to tempt me. So living a healthy lifestyle is it, it, the little things like that. You know, um, watching this. So be careful of the food, the food commercials, the TV commercials, the food blogs, especially when you're hungry because you're more prone to go get those. You, it's, they're going to tempt you. Okay, next tip, which is what which is what I love, is plan a weekly. Um, you know, make a weekly plan for your menu. It can be hard to think straight when you come come home tired at the end of the day. It's also the worst time to try to figure out what to make for dinner. It can save yourself in the drive through when you plan meals and have convenient dinner building block handy like frozen vegetables. When you cook, make a double batch. 
Sliced and seasoned chicken means an almost instant stir fry. And cooked ground beef makes for a speedy taco night. I love I love to make I love to have um um turkey ground beef handy because it's it's turkey ground beef. That's the only kind of ground beef I buy. And you can make so many dishes with, with turkey ground beef in the in, in the quick and easy. So have so so in other words is having a in having a your meal plan for the week is gonna help you out a lot. So so that's a very that's a very important tip. If you're trying to live healthy, you're trying to eat better, healthier, make smarter choices. Uh, having your weekly plan of what you're gonna eat definitely a way to go. Okay, chop right. When you bring your groceries home from the store. Just don't slash the veggies in a, in a crisper. Instead, take a few minutes to cut your carrots, cucumbers, and red peppers into snack-friendly sticks. That way, when you get hungry, vegetables are just as easy to grab and eat as pretzels or potato chips. Hate chopping? Buy bite-sized veggies like baby carrots and grape tomatoes or get the, the pre-cut kind. So what I do is I just get the baby carrots, for instance. But anyway, so so great idea here. So cut. So when you bring your, your groceries home, cut your cut, cut you know cut your um your bell peppers, your your um carrots, your um celery, zucchini, whatever in in um in little sticks and put them in a Ziploc bag. So so they're quick little you know snacks. So when you're hungry, you know if you if you're snacking th between your meals, you you can just grab that, take it to work, Mary. Put it in your lunch bag. It's an easier way to having your your food ready right there. To grab is it makes it makes your life much easier, so you're, you're less tempted to go to the vending machine. Okay, all right. Focus on the positive. As you build healthy eating habits, find things you can add to your diet. Seek out cool new fruits beyond the usual apples and bananas, like kumquats or clementines. Pick up an unfamiliar vegetable at the farmer's market, like a neon color cauliflower. You're more likely to stay on track. When you embrace what you can have instead of dwelling on things you want to limit, like junk food and sugary soda. So we gotta focus on the positive, guys. Keep positive. I know it's hard. Eating healthier, changing our or um your eating habits is a very difficult thing to do. It's not easy, but it's baby steps, you know. And so so some of it so that was it, Mary.